Hello and welcome to another episode of Barlow's TV, your local landscape and garden resource. I'm here in the garden with my two little helpers, Benjamin Barlow and Parker Barlow, to show you how to plant, how to successfully plant an arborvitae hedge. So what I have here are some beautiful, every bit of five to six foot emerald green arborvitaes. These plants make a great hedge. They don't grow really wide. So if you have a small property that you need a nice privacy hedge, this is a great plant for it. We have these, uh, we just got about 300 of these in Barlow's at our new um, nursery section. And they're gonna be on sale this week. So I encourage you to come by and take a look at them. But let me show you how to plant them if you do decide to buy some. So what I have here are some products that I really recommend you have when you're planting them. This is a, a composted organic um, blend that's some fish and seaweed that's a great compost to add to your soil. This is a, a biotone fertilizer, which I can't say enough about. It's a great starter fertilizer that has something called micro rising in it that helps to get those roots really going. All right, boys, you ready to start planting this? Yes. All right, so this is where we want this to go. So what I like to do when I start is kind of push the soil out of the way so I know exactly where I want it. Yeah, that's And then my little helpers are gonna help me dig this hole. So we're gonna dig the hole about, about six inches outside of this so we get a nice large hole. So about twice the size of the pot. So I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. All right, guys, let's start digging. So we're gonna dig this soil out, put it off to the side. Okay, so now we've got our hole dug. If you take a look at the soil, this is a really nice, what I call sandy loam soil. It's, it's, got, a, it's got a little bit of sand in it, it drains really well. So you wanna make sure this is a really good soil to have. So if your soil looks like this, you should be pretty happy. So what I have here is our compost. What I wanna do is gonna mix some in the bottom of our hole. I'm gonna mix it in with the soil down there. And I'm also gonna take a handful of my biotone and just put a little bit in the bottom of the hole. Sprinkle it down in there. Yeah. Now I'm ready to put my, my arborvitae in the ground. So these are in containers. Some arborvitaes you might have in, in bald and burlap, but this is in a container. All right, guys, why don't we break up the roots around this? So what we're gonna do is hit your shovel with that, guys. Break it up. Break it up. What you wanna do is just kinda break up the soil around it so those roots know they've got to start pushing out. Okay. So we're all broken up. Now, we're gonna put it in the hole. We'll all right, guys. Now, we'll you got it right, Ben. We're gonna cover it up. All right, as I'm backfilling, I am gonna put in two more handfuls of this biotin in there. Like I said, it's a great starter fertilizer. And as I'm mycorrhizing, I'm gonna push that all into the soil, make sure it's all worked in. So now I got my arborvitae planted. If I were to have a full hedge here, you know, it would look a nice, beautiful green hedge. What is really, really important with arborvitaes, and I can't stress enough, is water. They have a shallow root system, so they need to be watered a lot all year round. So I really recommend a soaker hose. What it is, is it puts the, you can wrap this around the tree, and what that does is it puts the water right at the roots. And when I water them, I like to water them for two hours, three times a week. You know, especially when it starts getting those, that hot summer sun on these trees and they'll do really well. We see a lot of problems with arborvitaes generally because they are not watered enough. And that goes for an established water arborvitae hedge too. So I hope you enjoyed my video on this. I encourage you to come check out our shrub sale that we'll be having. You can sign up for our email blast or check our website for the dates and all that. Thanks so much and thanks for my helpers for helping me out today. Have a great day. Yes, love them all. Yes, too. Yeah. Wow, these are really Okay. Ben, Ben, who was hiding? Ben, Ben, and the other.